Hi everybody, welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, special, special edition. Been waiting to do this one the entire draft season. So excited to share it with you. Justin Fields, part a lot. The semifinal game versus Clemson. Six touchdown passes, almost 400 yards passing. Outduels Trevor Lawrence. We are breaking it down. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. Justin Fields, have yourself a day. Number three, Ohio State, taking down number two, Clemson. Six touchdown passes, some massive throws all over the place. Drop this thing out of a helicopter right out the gate. Big time throw. He puts on an absolute deep ball clinic this game. Again, check his line just to tick off. Great adjustment, but that's not a 20 yard throw. These are big throws down the field, running past Clemson DBs that looked like they were shocked and unsettled all night with the speed out there on the perimeter for Ohio State. But so many good things from the quarterback position and really out dueling the kind of consensus number one pick. Again, love the deep ball, love the trajectory on many of these throws all night. Getting the matchup that they want. Here's the first touchdown. This thing is a big time throw on a little seven stop up top. Too big for safeties, too fast for linebackers, as one of my favorite tight ends used to say back in the day. This little seven stop just means uh, you're running a curl from a corner. That means so you're running a corner route and then you just hit the brakes. It'll fly right by you. Check the ball location out here. <laughs> I mean, paint the black, laughable, good accuracy. Love the scheme. Again, I've said many times on this channel how much I appreciate and enjoy watching Ohio State's scheme offensively. Right here, this is just a what I'm used to calling a seven stop. Starts right here at the line of scrimmage. You come up, you run that corner, you hit the brakes. Usually, there's a landmark out here on the numbers. A little bit tougher to hit those landmarks when you're in the red area in the end zone. But the idea being you come in here, Hit the brakes. It's not quite as good versus man, in my opinion. But the throw right here, he basically just throws him open. Again, away from the near defender. Near defender is going to be on the outside. You put it away from the near defender. And that thing is a strike. And he is driving the ball. Again, showing off the arm. Multiple levels. Kind of the second level drive throw right here. But I mean, that's not like bad coverage. That's outstanding. Tight coverage. Just better at offense. Better throw. Get big. Again, from the back end, made a bunch of really nice throws from the pocket the entire evening. Getting smacked. I mean, check this out. He's getting drilled, right? You take an L up front. He hits the ground before the guy catches the ball. Look at the throw, though. I mean, <laughs> I can't tell you how difficult that is. It's a great catch. Get big over there, but man, that's a great throw. My goodness. And it was a special night. Almost 400 yards passing, six touchdowns, and he left this throw out there. I mean, again, drop it from the rafters. Doesn't hook it up this time. So it was, again, I, I personally enjoy showing the, you know, not perfect plays. So this is just real life. But again, the Ohio State offense, they're taking shots, vertical shots. I mean, that's close. It's close to being a 450-yard day. It's a big, what I'm used to calling a flag route. I'll draw it up here. But really a just kind of deeper high-low, kind of a high and a higher. Love how they get there, though. Again, the seven stop with the flag behind it. Check that out up top. So again, they do a great job using shifts and motions. So this concept is going to start with this short motion. We're going to get the short motion, distort the back end. We're coming out here. We're running that seven stop again. A corner track and then curled up. Then we're going to run what I'm used to calling a flag route, a deeper corner. So usually no matter where you are in the field, this time he's trailing that seven stop, lets the seven stop go first, then he's up and he sets this thing to the back flag or back pylon. So not usually a corner that usually comes out at 20 or 30. This thing is deep, over the top, taking a shot. Love it. Unfortunate not to get it hooked up, but man, it was there. And they were not afraid to come back and take their shots vertically down the field. Again, 
I'm not a secondary expert by any means, but they looked confused in whatever they're trying to do here with that three safety look. Just letting guys run by him all night, whether it's by alignment, pure speed, not quite understanding how fast those guys are. But Justin Fields right here, just a bit too far. One, two, three, four, five. Big curl hop. You know, if anything, things you'll hear me say, toesy, heel clicky right here. This is almost like a, you know, throw from the warning track. You're going to curl hop that thing, throw somebody out from right field to third base. Just gets a bit too much, but man, you can see the power, the torque. Arm strength is not an issue. We're going to be able to stretch the field horizontally, vertically, all over the place. Right here, this is what most people refer to as some variation of the O-poop screen to the tight end. Fake the rollout, come back. Uh-oh. Walk in. So again, you know, not all of the six touchdown passes were tight condensed windows in the red area. This is scheming someone up. Watch that tight end on our right. Almost like he peeks behind him. Thing of beauty. They're disoriented on the back end again. Able to execute this thing, being able to change the launch point. Lots of things to like offensive architecture-wise here. Schemed up. Again, people ask me all the time, what does schemed up mean? Schemed up means people wide open for easy completions and even better when it's touchdowns. And that's the definition of it right here, getting schemed up. No, no. Flip around. Put it on him. Great. Great. Then really the play that defined this entire game, in my opinion. Scramble. Gets smacked in the ribs. From neck roll. Straight B. Cox impersonation here. Just rough hit to watch. Felt terrible. But really set the story for really what I think should be the narrative for Justin Fields. And it circles around, obviously, his ability as a quarterback. But the toughness just seeps out of the film, in my opinion. It's saturated. Being able to come back from this. Now, I would say he's a little high here. I get nervous when people start like half spinning. Dangerous. But that's a clown shot. Leading with your top of your head. Especially with that neck roll. But my goodness, to be able to come back in two plays. <laughs> basically two plays. I don't remember the exact number of plays. And throw this little wheel comeback in the red area. I mean, you can see he's hobbling up there up top. Come, come watch this. Watch him after he throws this thing. He throws it. And he's hobbling. I mean, he can barely function right there. I can't tell you how impressive that is to me as far as someone who, you know, you got to know what it's like to get smacked, to feel like you're not at 100%. That thing's wobbling, coming off his hand. But that is a thing of beauty, and that is toughness all over the place. Now, this route, I love. So we'll draw it up a little tighter like he's a little tighter. You come up, you fake this quick out. Then you go up like you're faking the wheel. And then you come back to the front pylon. I didn't really draw it at scale there because you can't see it. But it's going to be up into the front, into the end zone, and then at the front pylon. It's a thing of beauty. Now, the thing that I would add for this route right here is that I would love to see this receiver get his eyes back here on this quick out part. Just to sell it a little bit more to the back. But really, this is a tough route to handle on a number of different levels. It doesn't matter what level of football you're at. But this right here, great hookup. Coming back hurt. Check the route out one more time up top. Just good luck guarding that man-to-man. -man. Whoop. Rip. Perfect throw. So, JT, you keep showing me all these college things. Not everybody plays at the top program in the country, in the college football playoff. Give us something you can use. All right. You're welcome. So here's a little Patrick Henry High School in San Diego. Got a great route from number five, Bennett Walker right there, front pylon. That route should look familiar. A little wheel comeback. All this is is fourth quarter, down by 12, playing for the league championship. Bennett hasn't been healthy for a few weeks. Comes out, runs that. Awesome route in the red area. So good on so many levels. We'll talk about the details here. Watch his head turn on this flat down here at the bottom. Eyes back right there. Just that little head right there. Then he's running the wheel, the double move. Back to the front pylon. 
He catches it. It's a touchdown. I've got stills. If you got questions, that's against a very good corner. And that's a big time play. And that is the exact same route that you see the Chiefs run, that you see the Ohio State Buckeyes run. Got some good offense down here in San Diego. If you're wondering who yours truly is, it's the guy with the poppin' sweatshirt. So make sure you can see my signals. Great play by Bennett. Really proud of him that night. He's been fighting his some health issues. Comes in with two picks. And this, big time, should have been a touchdown. Had a great game. So much fun to see him play senior night. Massive play. One more time just to watch this thing all the way across. Great job by Ash Bibbs, our quarterback, too. Out on the run. No push off, get off me, front pylon. Great catch. Touchdown. Should have been. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications. It lets you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I certainly appreciate the support for the channel. Then if you're looking for more Quarterback School content, hop over to the Quarterback School Patreon community where you can find entire games broken down. And you, if you want even more in-depth content, hop over to the Quarterback School courses, bunch of different courses. Have a free course that's in the description on the quick game. Have some courses through Teachable. RPO course, how to beat every coverage course, pass protection course. If you can't get enough of the content, you will love the courses. Get over there, check it out. I appreciate it. Let's keep this one going. Next one here, right before halftime, a little double shift. I love a good tight end double shift to wing. Short motion up top. We're going to hit a post down here at the bottom with beautiful leverage. This is a tight window. This is an NFL red zone throw. That is tight coverage. That is a better ball beating good defense. You can watch the shift. What this does is it creates the leverage you want for this post. He's going to have outside leverage from the defender. But really, it's a tight window. Not the greatest view from the end zone. Insert it right there. Again, watch this. Double shift. And really, you can see with what happens here, basically a variation of old school shallow. Here's the touchdown. So you're running that post off that leverage, right? We see the DB leverage here outside of him. So you're going to run at him. It's going to open up the window, and then he's going to be able to come up into that area. You're going to run what's essentially like a deep hook with the short motion and the shallow. So if that post isn't there, you got those things coming right to your face. But this is a tight, condensed throw in the red area. Thing of beauty. Again, look at the velocity. Watch his feet. One, two, three. No heel click. All his cleats in the ground, driving that thing through two defenders. Now, you can make the argument that you get a little lucky. That safety doesn't fall off into this. I'm talking about the safety standing right in the middle of the field. Looks like he's got the two vertical, but almost could fall off into it. it really makes that a contested throw. My goodness. That's a fastball. Fun to watch. From the back end, again, just watch the tempo of this thing. Again, how it's created offensive structure-wise. Shift, motion. Get the leverage you want. One, two, three, rip. And again, people love to talk about how long it is, how long his release is. I just, I guess I just don't think so. I mean, it's it's fast. It's, it's not the quickest one you'll ever see, but I don't think of it as long. One more here just because I think this is the type of throw that should get you drafted number one overall. What I'm going to call a variation of Y cross. This is one, two, three, the read all the way across the field, throwing a 60-yard post in the air. An absolute missile drop from the rafters, drop from a helicopter, however you want to describe it. He's going right to left in his read. One, no, two, no, moves off the landmark and bombs away. Strike. This is it for me. This is one of my favorite throws I can remember. They run variations of this play all night, really all year. But what they're doing here is just... Vertical, quick out over here, number one. They do variations if it's to the open side. They'll run inside fade if you watch the entire game. Number two is usually this crosser, be able to sit down in space. And then up top, most teams run what I'm used to calling like a post curl read. So if you can get to the post, you keep running the post. If you can't, you kind of settle in space. So those are the bones of what I consider to be like an air raid special. I know that they're not air raid, but everybody runs variations of this concept. But this is a big, big, massive monster throw. And it's a dime. It's fun to watch. And I don't know how you don't like this. 
The fact that he gets off his landmark too is something I didn't remember from the broadcast. But my goodness, one more time. Just go through the pace of it here for your read. So down here, number one. One, two, three, no. So he's already off of it, right? He's off of it, no. To the middle of the field, no. Over the top, there it is. Just a 60-yard strike. Beautiful. From the back end, again, things I'm paying attention to, besides for the tempo of the drop, the footwork, just get watch him get off his landmark, right? Whoop! Just that little subtle movement. And still have the capacity to torque this thing that far. My goodness. Yes, please. That is a wrap for this video. If you are looking to see more of this semifinal game, you want to hop over to the Quarterback School Patreon community this week, the semifinal game, all 22, the entire game drops over there this week. So get over there, check it out, support the channel. Again, I sincerely appreciate the support. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Justin Fields. I will see you next time. Have a good one.